Chat Jamaican with Tanya visited a compound town in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. Our tour guide, Mark, spoke to us in part one about the community's rich history. In this segment, we will continue to tour and explore more about the rich history of the compound Maroons. Come and chat with Tanya, everyone from different culture. Learn the Jamaican structure, just like, share, and subscribe, yeah. So where are we now, Kutu? We we are at the United Church of Jamaica and Grand Cayman once you so call it Presbyterian, but This church was instrumentally in changing our name, some African name, and giving us English name by starting christening and baptizing the people of the community. And it was also first a school that started teaching English language. So if you happen to come to a compound now, you would never found a lot of people with their African names because of the church. This church that changed their names and kind of a lot of people lose their identity. By, by this church teaching English language and Christian okay. and baptizing. So that's why like most of the persons living here they have the last name Ro oh, yeah. and uh, right. Price and so right. on. So yeah. that's how they got the, the, this yeah. was where yeah. the name change took place. Some of the name changed some but of some of it were from the plantation owners and things. Yeah. Okay. Right beyond the church now is the cemetery and the cemetery is a communal cemetery because our lands are communal lands so no one don't have to pay for a spot like people living in Kingston or Montego Bay. Okay. This cemetery is a communal cemetery but if persons die that cannot afford to finance themselves of burying the colonel and the council would find the material and find refreshment for the workmen and everyone would get a suitable grave spot or a tomb okay. and that's how they would and bury. And they do the design? Mm, yes. But if person that died that can afford it, now they would pay the workman even up to even fifty thousand dollars for a grave. Once you want certain design on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then to so any maroon anywhere mm -hmm. at all. Once you're world. once you're a descendant from a compound, if you die in Africa and and your family can bring back the body here, mm -hmm. you have the rights and privilege to bury here. As I say, you don't have to pay for a spot. And it's just it's just because of the coronavirus where so you see it a little bush up now. But originally we maintain it and keep the grass down. And as you can see, that's even on the backdrop, that's a part of the community same way. And for your information, our land is over 1,500 acres. Originally, it was like 15,000 acres, but subsequent... 1,500? 15,000. I can stand on the grave? Yeah, man. And not what happened to me? Not, not yeah. <laughs> Subsequent Jamaican government always encroached upon our land. Even last year, probably you'll see where we have a lot, a lot of demonstration re really to cockpit country because they want to mine part of cockpit country and the maroons are the sole owner of cockpit country yeah. Yeah. it's lovely but the house there though mm? they, they, it takes the house that's yeah. where the the land stops no man the land as far as your eyes can see like originally the land were from seaport no, to seaport no for the cemetery the cemetery itself yeah, yeah man just beyond that house oh, okay yeah, yeah. okay mm. so but even that that big grave now uh -huh. his name was Manoro 
and he was the, like the state secretary for the village for the community like secretary of state and he was the man that keeps the original treaty and also a document called the jamaican journal like those are the laws and clause of the, that govern the community before we have a constitution now we have a constitution we are different different things by like governing the place can go through the constitution because even not this present time of the colonel the first term of this present colonel it was a constitution that we used to put him in office because that time bruce golden was the government of jamaica and he was like it was under a crisis like this so they said they don't have no money but we need to have an election so we use the constitution and get an election but originally the, the electoral office always assists us okay. yeah. doing this for like let's see 41 years Ooh. yeah okay. that building over there now is a clinic Originally, it used to be like the basic school, awesome. but since we, yeah. since we get the, the basic school when Jamaica was celebrating the 50 year from Food for the Poor, we leave this as a clinic and we have a base nurse, trained nurse at base here, uh, but we have a next nurse that come up from Black River, come check the baby mothers and stuff like that. But we still practice a lot of traditional herbs and things up until today because our ancestors used to practice a lot of traditional herbs. As we've been a herb now, this is not you're looking and it's called the cacao. And, and for communities like this that persons um, keep their water in outdoor container you put one of this in the water and it keeps floating you know it's good for drinking but if you see it swell and sink you know the water is poisonous because when they were camping to invade the British soldiers used to camp close to the water sources and Koju and his people being from Africa they know so much good things so they put one of this in the water when they sneak down to get water and it keep floating they know the water is good also we roast this and get the kernel out the inner part out and soak it in salt and water for seven to nine days then we grate a coconut and make a run down and we dice up this like carrot and put in it and we can cook yam and banana and rice and peas and anything and eat with it because yesterday when you asked me about certain food yeah if it was a long time we get a notice we could prepare some for you today oh, okay. because it take a time to Maybe process we can come another time for mm -hmm. the meal yeah. so we can schedule it because even one time we do i do a documentary with nyamins and jamins uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. I understand. we do a documentary with nyamins and jamins and this cocoon was the main meal and also persons sick with kidney illnesses and stuff like this we can we can um roast it like coffee with dandelion and nickel and and um put it in the boil it and they can drink it to so like reduce the water from around their kidney so you don't have a lot of persons here suffering from diabetes and stuff like that because mm -hmm. we still practice a lot of traditional medicine Medicines. yeah is there any tree close by a country no you're lazy no we can't we just <laughs> <laughs> we'd have to go walk probably probably around miles a couple, natural couple miles yeah or a couple hours what about fern fern yeah they never used to use fern no. was no because oh. i heard some that it has medicinal purposes. Well, well, we don't get that. No, we have herbs on the trees now. When we go further on, I'll show you. Oh, but this not Yeah, man, like these? Um, no. Oh, it looks like... Okay, it looks like fern, but I like these. Uh -huh. These are like scandy ground and stuff like those yeah. where we put in medicine. Like herbal medicine yeah. tonic. Uh-huh. Yeah. To make what different... is the name? It's on the ground because it does not if it drop on the ground it, it will dies. be like like poisonous, you know? oh. Oh. So when you harvest it, you can't let it fall on so the ground. So it's poisonous now? Yes. So it cannot be used. Used, yeah. And there's a lot of herbs that even if they blossom, we don't use them. And we don't pick herb after like 12 o'clock in the day. Oh, oh, yeah. oh so this is really good because early, it's yeah. after 12 now. Because they are sleeping, you know? Oh. Okay. This this one now. This one is called Marigold. Oh, that them call Marigold? Yeah. And you know, it's midwife used to take care of the people with their young babies. So when the baby have been gripe, we, we, don't, we never used to have gripe water and stuff like that. They boil three leaf of this and we feed the baby with a little teaspoon to know the baby is sipping and that would help them with the gripe. Okay, very interesting. Mm -hmm. 
so they don't have to purchase any dried medicine. No, no, no okay. preservative medicine. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because even when you say I just walk and go check that man, there's a guy. He was in the hospital the other day. Mm -hmm. But he had bronchitis and yesterday he coughed and some blood come up. So I have some honey and garlic and onion. Yeah, to, I got to blend up, give it. to blend up and make some juice for him, you know. Okay, so we're leaving the cemetery now. Yeah, it's very large. Very large and looking wonderful, you know. So we just learned a lot of things not too long ago about the cemetery who buried there yeah, that brand there. new one that is up there you know i'm sorry with that in a tea yeah? tea you remember tea from right there uh, up there cemetery mm -hmm. oh. and, and a brand new i just renovated and renovated oh it look new mm -hmm. come around the side and take the one you know. this nice. one is who rupee oh this is rupee the Origin that i was telling you about originally ever do we have a horn here which is called the abing and the abing blower and the Abeng blower, official blower, he died a couple of years ago, but because he was an official blower for over 50 years, we we feel honored of put an Abeng on his grave. Because, you know, somebody work with that too. Like in some rural communities, you see a person ride bike or thing, when they die, they draw a bike on their grave. But we feel honored of put an Abeng, an emblem of the official Abeng on his grave. So he's the only one with an abeng. Yeah, because he the, back in the days the office the other blowers persons were in that mirror of decorating people's person's grave and okay. it was Lovely. more it was more dirt grave, you know. So in that time they like we mm -hmm. right now we are we are oh. actually back on the main street and you could see rubber lawn down main railing. But originally, right, that would be a drawing of Kojo, and a drawing of Danny. And uh, when, it, when you mention memory lane, you know, it would be more like original music, not like the present day music now. Yes. So even when we have the festival and after the whole cultural part of it, we would have like six or seven different parties in the community. Okay. Where, like, this would be like the more old it's dance hall. Okay. So every every 6th of January, this is active? Yes. This, they, they play the sound and everything? Everything. And more older people would go in there to party. Okay. Feels good. Papa, Eddie. Papa, Oh. So this now, as you look at this, gear it program. We because we do grant proposal and send to different different funding agents and get funding to do like different pro projects. As you see, this was like a coffee project that they do. Okay, Jamaica yeah. Reach. Yeah. Rural and ecosystem. and yeah. they like teach about slash and burn and protect protecting more the environment more farming and oh, protecting okay. the environment and so, more, most of this were like um organic to no not a lot of chemicals and stuff yeah. you know so because even up until today we still have a big pineapple farm here which is an organic farm so too. overall the community is a farming community, community persons make their living by agriculture farming. yeah yeah that's what i, that's what I realized mm -hmm. And even now, it's better because from last year, they they get a um, they get a like a waiver so they can grow medical marijuana. Okay. For, for Another thing though, what happened here? I realized that this, the this was a guest house, but it was burned down from some electrical thing. Okay, so they don't um. Yeah. Fix it up from and on this wall now, like when we have the festival in January. This is like how the ceremonial food would be cooking and the person are singing, drumming Robert and dancing. Kinder. But I'm going to take you to the exact spot. So you can mark the street of memory. You never know that? Yeah. I'm the man Elena, and the president of the Akampong Youth Cultural Group. Uh, yeah, thank you for visiting Akampong Town. Yeah, here in a very historical place called Akampong Town, which is situated in St. Elizabeth, in the cockpit country here, near to Chulani Town. But that side is Chulani Town. Yeah, so we are here near a seal ground. The seal ground is actually in the middle of the town. It's one of the seal ground 
there's where um, ancestors used to do ceremonial activities like bless baby and so forth whenever a newborn is 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 born in the community and so forth you know so about 280 years out of history on the maroon ground so we are free people in the mountains in the cockpit country so as we're here today we're still fighting the battle of the cockpit country and boundaries and all of that you know so we are still standing firm in the Gideon you know fighting against mining and all of that you know so we are we are hills people cockpit country warrior you know yeah man how we that we are, we, are, we are heading now to the parade ground but we know Marcos is going to do more history panel so until then all right Mr. Curry, he's a senior elder. Hello, Mr. Curry. Hi, Mr. Curry. Not bad. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Have you learned a bit about our history? Yeah, welcome to come back here. Thank you. <laughs> we walked until our feet hurt. We also had to purchase some bag juice as the sun and the heat were getting the best of us. Daria had to get Jackie ride as she was unable to keep up with the pace. The community members were fun and engaging. A compound is a community I would definitely recommend to everyone in the world to visit. Thank you for watching part 2 on Chat Jamaican. Part 1 was very interesting and part 3 is going to be mind blowing so ensure that you hit the subscribe button, like and share. Thanks for watching, like more. Yeah, I'm going to go to the black hole.